Here's how to edit your YouTube channel videos using an iPad or an iPhone. So first of all, get to your studio dashboard page. From this page, you can locate your video by typing in the name or part of it in the search bar here. If you've got lots of videos, or you can touch the play symbol here for the channel content, which I've just done because I know it's one of my last videos. So here we're going to just touch on the video a couple of times and that will bring up the video page. On that page, we go to editor. Now we're in the editing part. By the way, if you were trying to open this on the app, it will just bring you here to the website. So we're doing this all in Safari. As usual, YouTube and Google could have made it easier, but it's not. But once you know how, it's pretty easy. So let's select trim. If we want to trim part of the video out, just touch that. You will see, hopefully there's two dark blue lines appear. Oh, by the way, don't touch below where my finger is because that will start to edit sound, monetization points and blur out things. So just try and keep your fingers above here. This will zoom in and out on your video when you want to get right up to that millisecond that you want to edit. But for now, we'll just move across here up to a point. So we can see we're now at three minutes, six seconds, 15 milliseconds. To trim, there's basically two kinds of trimming that we can do. One is trim a whole section from the start or a section from the second half of the video. So you're just chopping off either end. The other way is trimming out some kind of section during the video, which I'll come to in a second because it's a bit more complicated. But for now, all I'm going to do is put my finger on the blue until it really catches. It's not catching straight away. That's, that's totally normal. So here I go, finally got it. Just be patient to catch it. And you can see I'm going from zero all the way up to whatever I want. So here it's 35 seconds. Trying to drag it again. There we go. So I can drag it along till the moment I want. Now to fine tune that, as I said, I can use this and, and zoom in on the video. So it's just loading now those little thumbnails of where I am in the video. So I can see that's the point there. I can fine tune it now. I'm zooming in even closer. Again, wait for it to load a few seconds. And so all that part shaded, that will be chopped out if I go ahead. As you can see, it took me three attempts to get hold of the actual editing line, blue line here. Once you have it, you can then fine tune it. The next thing you do is press preview. So we're going to chop out this section here. You need to press preview and then save. That will bring up this, this uh, advice that it's going to save the original version of your video. So don't worry, you won't lose that in case the edits aren't satisfactory. So you can then press save and it will go into processing. So video is being processed, check back later. So a couple of things that are important, if the video is already published and making money for you or getting views, don't worry, that video will stay live uninterrupted until this new version goes live once it's been processed. So you won't have any interruption. You'll have total continuity with your relationship with the viewers. They won't be disappointed clicking on something that doesn't work. This avoids deleting a video and uploading it again. So you've got links already connected to your video or you've got views which are already generating you dollars. So just be patient, depending on how long the video is, the video will take minutes or a couple of hours to be processed normally. But let's look at the more complicated edit. If we go back to my movies and I can just select one here. If we go to the editor, so this is a more complicated edit. We're going to trim out something from the video, just a few seconds somewhere in the video, leaving what's either side of it in the video. So you can either manually select where you want to trim from using the zoom in and zoom out to fine tune your position. Or if you know where you want, you can enter it here. So we know one of the cuts will be at, let's say one minute, five seconds, five milliseconds or whatever it is. So we're going to press enter there and that's where this line is now, the gray line, and press trim next. Now 
going to clear away the keyboard by pressing the keyboard icon down here and you'll see there is a split icon here in the black box and um, you may have to press it a couple of times there you go now we have the split line here on this timestamp where we entered or selected manually what you can do is drag it to the right or to the left to the other time which is the time where you want the video to resume or if you go this side to resume or if you go to this side where you want to start the cut from let's say we want it here i just want to fine tune it so i'm going to magnify i'm going to wait for the picture to update and we can just rest your finger on that blue line till you're able to move it sometimes it's difficult to get it to recognize your contact with it so there we go we can see exactly where zoom out let's say i want to go further see that's not selected the blue line so i put my finger there again try again no give me the blue line there we go so let's say we want it here now this will be edited out of all i need to do is press preview then so the next step is save and as i said before that will then go to processing and update your video if it's live and you can always go back to the saved original if you're not happy with the results and try again so this is really really useful if you're making videos and you happen to upload them then find out you've made a mistake and it just needs something cutting out